You just stripped him for parts. No loves, no hates, no legs, and no teeth. What now? his teeth, huh? Well, congrats. You're equally impotent. So, why you? Why don't I play God? I think maybe... If you're gonna get into the creation racket, you can't overthink it. You just say, what if? And you change the world. After I quit trying to help the gods, I used what I knew to pull pranks on them. But now... I don't know. I see every punchline coming. I smirk at the idea of a joke. This ain't about pity. But a god ought to take some joy in his work. Ishmael Gilder, personal notes. Speech in the event of bankruptcy, draft eight, subsection, uh, we'll say Q. Uh, yes, yes. <clears throat> Inside every man, woman, and child is this little voice which precedes consciousness, and it whispers, surely I deserve better than this. Why, I'm the hero, after all, aren't I? I should be the one in control. And as a species, I think humanity almost outgrew it. But then we stepped in, peddling our fever dreams, and said, no, you've been right all along. Push this button, and you'll never have to feel that way again. God. Cripes, how do I manage to be preachy and self-hating without so much as a segue? I Better find some money. This question again. Can't we do another fan mail? Okay, okay. Do people honestly want to know why I set this story in space? 
After two years of trying for a child with my now ex-wife, it turned out I was, in fact... <laughs> Stero! Yeah! Untreatable. And space is, in a word, universal. I could write about my empty nest, but in that same abyss, you'd see whatever you're afraid of. The sequel was my O2 low untethered spacewalk into, into nothing's orbit. Stories from my world always have two guys arguing over some robot. Like, but sir, is it self-aware? Like that had set it above the rest. Me, I think it's a curse. It lets you zoom out, see more of the picture, realize how small you are. And at first you laugh, right? Finally you're in on the joke. But boy, if you keep zooming out, you sure as shit stop laughing. You'd give anything to turn it off. Mainly, I just try to stay drunk.
Originally, the tractor beam was meant to safely guide in the spacecraft of any player not currently controlling the pro. But then our design intern Maze here pointed out that you guys would have expected playable vehicles. I told him, it's about precedent. It, it makes no sense to hoof it through miles of space station when you can jump in a shuttle and just hop from airlock to airlock. And from a multiplayer POV, think of the strategies that shake out of having one of your buddies in an armed spacecraft just outside. Yes. So, as I'm sure you players know by now, I had to write it in that the shuttles only work for station personnel. And actually, uh, before we ship, we still need to meet on what to do with the tractor bot. I can schedule it. Super happy to keep advising you. I, yeah, no, I'll call you about that. I'm sure I'll remember this.
So now I'm hoping, praying, I guess, that my ideas outlive me. So at the end, when you met Starfather inside the circle, that's what I was trying to convey. That I was reaching out to you, passing on part of myself. God, but that's bullshit, isn't it? I mean, I don't know you at all. This is mutual. It's it's a, it's fucking test tube. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but if I keep recording at night, staring for another single second at this false world, I might just end it. Shots of you guys for evidence. Um, hello? That's not where I want to go. Um, this is not my chosen flight vector, thank you. I gotta admit, boss, I wouldn't have thought of that. Ghost a bastard now, while you still can. Who's moving my camera? Maze? Is that... Stop it! What? Hello? 
Did I just get killed? I'm in god mode! Monsters shouldn't see me... She said out loud like a crazy woman. <sighs> Better call an IT guy. Oh, hey. An IT guy. Okay... Creepy. A while? I could have you f Remember Coda. He works here. Hourly. He's a fan like you. Yeah, thanks. How'd you make your colors do that? Also, why? 